Oh man, what? We've got a leak in that that the cell. Looks like the top is leaking. Leaking out the top. All right, the flight is over. We're going to head back to the field. Dyersburg traffic 6871 Delta taking runway 4, departing out to the west, Dyersburg. All right, welcome aboard. Pre-flight and run-up is complete. Ready to roll, runway 4 as just called. So we're heading out there. Left clear, runway clear. We're going up to do a kind of a test flight. We're going to transfer some fuel into a tank I don't use very much. It's called a nacelle tank. It's an external tank to the, to the main tanks. To the main and auxiliary, there's a third tank called a nacelle tank. We're going to check that out. I haven't used it in uh, probably two years, so let's see how that works. The whole trend. I have to remind myself of the transfer process. My trip was cut short by a pretty significant fuel leak from the nacelle tank. I was never really in danger, but that leak just looks like it's in a bad spot. You'll see. Notice that the nacelle tank is going to be directly behind the left engine. So I do have to say that I did wonder how thick the material is separating the 20 gallons of fuel in the nacelle tank from the engine. I'll just let things unfold for you. Climbing a thousand feet a minute, so we're getting a pretty good little climb. Tires for traffic, 6871 Delta just off runway 4, climbing through 1.2, turning out to the west, Dyersburg. And we are heading to Jonesboro. Yeah, this transfer tank is off the, off the left wing, it holds 20 gallons, the outside tanks uh, each main tank on the outside holds 50 gallons each, so that's call it two and a half hours depending on winds. The auxiliary tanks just inside those main tanks hold 31 and a half gallons each, so 63 total, so call that an hour and a half, again depending on wind. So we've got four hours in those tanks, and the nacelle tank holds 20 gallons, but I have to pump that into that left main tank, that left most outside tank and then cross feed half of it back over to this right tank. So it's not it's not a big deal. It sounds complicated. It's not complicated at all. You just gotta you know 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 the process. And I'm just up trying to refresh the process. Haven't used that in probably two years. So I want to get up. I'm thinking of going to Las Vegas in this next week. This is the end of October. I wanted to get an extra half an hour of flight just to make the legs longer. So I want to test this out. I'll just hit a transfer switch when I'm ready. Oh man, what? We've got a leak in that that nacelle. Looks like the top is leaking. Leaking out the top. Let me level off. Now it's an active it's an active leak. There's 20 gallons in there. All right. This is not an emergency. It's not not a crisis, but the flight is over. We're going to head back to the field. Gonna make this turn. It's coming out pretty good. I think actually when those mains get low enough, I can pump some in there. All right, we'll just wheel it back around. This video is a little bit short and a little bit tense, so let's break the tension with a nice, peaceful landing at Gulf Shores with my buddy Tom in his Bonanza V-Tail. I think you'll like it, and I'll be right back.
We're going about 200 knots across the ground, so we'll be there in no time. There's a Mississippi bridge down there. Drop that nose a little bit for the front. West Memphis traffic, Skyhawk 46, Fox Trot 11 to the south, inbound for runway 35, West Memphis. All right, and so those left and right mains were not totally full, so I turned on the transfer pump to hopefully alleviate so it could pump some out as it also leaks some out to create less of a loss. We'll do that. Let me get, uh, uh, let's see, got to go back to Dyersburg. Altitude. Let's do a procedure just so we can get the center line at, at least. We will not do a hold. Remove the hold. See what that looks like. Right, that looks good. Okay, so we're set pretty good. I've got this RNAV set just in case we get task saturated at some point in this. It looks like that leak is slowing down, so I feel better about that. It looks like it's stopped, but we're still going to cancel the mission of uh, Plunderbridge Jonesboro. I just don't like the idea of knowing I have an active leak. Let's see, we have Dyersburg at the frequency still, so we're good. Dyersburg traffic twin sets to 6871 Delta 7 to the north northwest at 3003. We'll be coming around uh, for the uh, runway 22 Dyersburg. West Memphis traffic, uh, Skyhawk 46 Fox Trot, the five mile final, runway 35, West Memphis. Coming down to 26, we're at 3,000 now. Let's come down to 25, we're safe at 25 in this area. Dyersburg traffic, 6871 Delta, five mile final, runway 22, Dyersburg. All right, I've got my transfer pump off, just, again, this is not a crisis situation, I just feel exposed out here, knowing there's a leak going on. I've got the aircraft, I've taken it. No longer on autopilot, it's just me. They go with the second notch of flaps. They help me out a little bit fast here. Dyersburg traffic, 6871 Delta short, final 22 Dyersburg. Coming over the fence at 100. I've got the aircraft, gear still down. All right, that worked out. Okay, so. Darsburg traffic, 687 Delta, clear of the active. We managed to get back down safely with nothing more than a, a stain on the uh, on the nacelle tank.